Hi everyone. Every time I do a blog post or a video or any up close photographs that people can see my face, they always ask me, what lip color are you wearing? So I thought I would to do a reveal today and show you the lip colors that I bought from Merle Norman. I went by there this morning and bought replenishments because about once a year I throw away all my lipstick and go buy new. It chemically changes, starts to smell funny, gets bacteria in it, whatever. Just go buy new and, and start all over again. Um, I just like working with fresh and clean better. This color is a more, and it's from Ro Norman, and it's a beautiful, rich red color with a blue undertone. I always have to go with something with a blue undertone rather than a gold. Um, a red with an orange undertone terribly clashes with my skin tone. It does not look very good at all. A lighter, more summery red that has, um, it's sort of sheer with a little bit more blue in it. This is called Americana. It's a lovely color as well. The next one is called Cranberry and it's almost a burgundy. It's a deeper um, sort of plum color and I like that one a lot too. Those three I've been wearing for a long time. Today I tried two new colors that I've not had before. The first one is what I'm wearing and it's called Fuchsia Flirt. And the reason I, I got that color is because I have this scarf on from my, my store. It's a satin scarf with a lot of fuchsia in it. So I like to match, if I'm wearing red, I wear red lipstick. If I'm wearing blue, I can go with any of these other colors because it's not the same tone. But since I had fuchsia, I had to go with an actual fuchsia um, lip color. I do have a, I have a fuchsia shirt, I think, from Express. Love the color. It's so right for me. But you have to have the right lipstick. You can't wear anything that's too red. Um, so pinks with pinks, fuchsia with fuchsia, red with red, and the right tone of red. There's lots of different colors. I also got a new color today. This one is called Free Spirit, and it's almost the color of my natural lip color. So when I'm doing something, wearing something really casual, let's say a denim shirt and a white pair of pants and brown loafers and something, you know, neutral, very casual, it wouldn't be right to have glamorous red lips. So tone down just a little bit richer color that's natural looking. That's what I would go with. So it's sort of I match the attitude. Like if I'm going out and I'm doing a glamorous evening look, the red amore would be wonderful um, because it's dramatic. It also is a rich, creamy. All of these are rich, creamy colors with no shimmer, no little flecks of shimmer at all. And they are not glossy. I don't wear gloss because I'm over 60. So all of those two moist colors that are glossy, shimmery, too moist, they're just going to travel right into the lines around my lips and look pretty frightening. So I just don't, don't use them. I put the color on and blot it really well. Sometimes I put it on and then blot it with my finger because that way you can get all of the excess off and you just sort of stain your lips rather than have all that stuff resting on top of them so that every time you talk, it moves a little bit every time you smile and you end up with lipstick where you really didn't want to have it. So that's my story about the lipstick. And I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you have ideas or questions, just send me an email. I'll be glad to try to talk about whatever I do that works for me. I'm never telling you that this is what you should do. I just share my story, my experiences, and hopefully it helps other people figure out what's right for them. And I'm happy to do it if I can help someone. My name is Susan. I'm the editor of SusanAfter60.com. I'll put links down below for all of the things, the scarf and the colors of the lipstick that I showed you today. I hope that this little tutorial was helpful to you and that you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.